Hello everybody, Brent Guy here, and welcome back to Subnautica. Alright, so uh, in the last episode, uh, we did quite a lot of base building, and I kind of refined the base a little bit, uh, changed a few things up. I uh, made this little section over here, instead of having it over here. Uh, that's the, um, the observation center. And then I made my bedroom kind of thing over here like this. So nothing was kind of connected. Uh, the only thing that's kind of connected to these things here. And if I want to branch out, I can still add like a layer up top or something like that for like a, you know, a biodiesel room or something like that. You know what I mean? To make different kinds of energy. So we'll see what uh, happens. So um, I put also these, um, these bulkheads in. They're really good for structural integrity of your area and that's good so I put a bunch of these in kind of makes it a little bit more realistic too that every area that you kind of go in has a bulkhead so really technically you could close them all right and then it would be sealed the way it really should be sealed right so that way each thing is its own little bubble so anyways I figured that was just kind of a nice little touch for realism there and you know all that good stuff so we'll just open these up so that way we don't have to worry about uh, opening them up whenever. Um, so I think today we're going to do some upgrading. Uh, I think that is probably the awesomest thing that we're going to do today. Um, we're going to use this modification station. We're going to call this modification station day. Because uh, I think we can make the survival knife. I'm pretty sure we can make this uh, higher octane. Uh, on huh, Higher octane. Higher high capacity tank. Yep, that's right. Ultra high capacity tank. Uh, the fins, I think we should be able to do that one as well. I don't know this yet. Um, Cyclops upgrade, neither. Uh, we should be able to do these as well. Do the uh, MK2 module and we could even do the MK3 module. So I'm really hoping we can get these over and done with today. Um, I'm not going to bother with this yet because I have no idea where uh, Kainite is. So uh, I'm pretty sure that's pretty far, much farther down. So yeah, so at least we're going to try to get uh, most of these done today. So that's the goal. So I'm going to go back to the original first island. I believe that's where I found all the titanium. So I'm going to head off in that direction and uh, go collect some resources and all that good stuff. And then we'll be back to, uh, to build some things. And then uh, hopefully get some upgrades going on. Oh, what am I doing? I should be going to my Seamoth. <laughs> All right, so we're back home here now. Um, I think we should be able to start uh, making some stuff here. So uh, let's start with the knife. Uh, I guess now we got a, a hot blade. So I guess the bonus with this is that we can uh, instantly cook our, our food. So that's kind of good. So when we're out and about, we can just hack and slash it. And we can get uh, some food. So um, if we take this tank off and we go here. We should be able to make the high capacity one now. Awesomely awesome. So what's this give us? Oh, it automatically equips it too. Nice, 225 seconds worth of oxygen. That's wicked. All right, so now let's start working on this. We need uh, titanium and silicone rubber times two. Now, do I have any silicone rubber here? Well, would you look at that? I just happen to have two. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Uh, we gotta take these fins off. Uh, these are the fins. And if we go here, uh, what are we missing now? Fins and titanium. Oh, okay. One piece of titanium coming up. Bam. Ah, I keep hitting that wrong button. Why? Okay, so now we got our oh our fins. That's good. So I guess we can swim even faster now, I would assume. Awesome. All right, so now the next thing we gotta work on is the Seamoth upgrades. Now, I'm gonna have to, oh, Magnetite. <gasps> oh, oh, I didn't see that. Oh. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a little bit of a, uh, uh, a problem. We won't be able to do the Magnetite one. I don't know where that is. And I don't think you can fabricate it. I think it's like a, a resource that you find. Yeah, it's a resource you find, huh? Oh, well. 
we we can at least make the plasteel ingots and we'll put them uh we'll put them aside I guess for now. Um, that kind of sucks. All right, so we're gonna have to I guess go exploring. Gonna have to go try to find out where we can uh, where we can get that stuff. All right, so I guess we'll go exploring then. We'll uh, toss that and that in there for now. Um, I don't think we're gonna need any of these, right? No, I don't think so. I do not think so. But I think what I should do is make a couple more batteries, though, because I don't have any... I think I don't have any spare batteries here. Yeah, I don't have any spare batteries. So I'm gonna make a few spare batteries. And then, uh, oh, I'm gonna have to show you what I did for decoration-wise, too. So I have, like, a little, a little relax area. Come in here, and I'm gonna put all the stuff I find here. Then we have our map room down here. So, like, this is slowly gonna get upgraded at times. And then right back down this way is gonna be our bedroom. So this is where we kind of, like, relax. And eventually I'm gonna put plants in all of these things. And then we just kind of got, like, a small little bedroom here, which is nice. Oh, uh, what else here? And then down this way, like, I still have the observation room, which I haven't done anything with. Oh, I should be able to finish these now that I got titanium. That's good. And that's gonna help with the, um... The structural integrity so i should be able to do that afterwards too but i guess the priority right now is uh let's go investigate let's go see what the heck's going on because we need to find a few more resources now i got food and water inside the inside here in the sea moth um got a couple here so that's not so bad we should be okay for now uh we got first aid kits so uh, yeah, I said we're gonna make some batteries. So let's uh, go and find some of these mushrooms and make some batteries. Alright, so we're at the back of the Aurora. Um, I did accidentally uh, do a little bit of recording, I think. I think I didn't uh, record me making the Depth 9 module for the Seamoth. Which is, I guess, okay, but you know what I mean, that sucks. But I did make the depth uh, three, depth nine, depth three, I meant. Um, so now we can go up to 900 meters below. So that's, that's cool. Um, sucks that I, you know, I didn't do it, but a uh, scanner room fragment. Just getting all this titanium and stuff. Seeing what else is around here. Oh, all right. So here we got a life pod. All right. So then maybe this is a lay one of the life pods I couldn't get to before. Maybe I don't know, but we'll have a look. We'll see what's inside. Oh, look! There's a toy car. Nice. Uh, a sample flask. I want that. I want that. An unusual doll. You can scan it. That's pretty cool. Nice. All this cool stuff. All right, anything else in here that I can grab and scan? Nothing, nothing? Aw, oh, sweet. All right, anything around? No, non-functional. All right, hey, whoa, whoa. Do I have to? <laughs> okay, I figured that's what was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I felt yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. That's freaking hilarious. All right, swim closer, swim closer. I had a feeling it was gonna eat me. Oh, that's too funny. Um, all right, so that was Life Pod Seven, and that was the one that was behind. Uh, the Aurora. I don't know if there's any other life pods behind here. Like, I thought there was supposed to be still one afloat behind the Aurora. But we'll go directly above and we'll have a look. We'll see what, uh, there's a, exactly where we are. Maybe we're not really behind the Aurora. I thought we were. I don't want to, like, be jumping out of water here. Oh, yeah, we are right behind the Aurora. Okay, so... I don't see any life pods up here floating around. So, 
Because I'm pretty sure there was one that said it was floating around back here. Uh, codes and glues. Okay, see, because there was life pod 4, see, distress signal, uh, flotation device active, life pod located at sea level, northwest, oh, northwest, port, and that's the left side, the port side is the left side, okay, so maybe we just didn't see that one, and then 6 was supposed to be just below that one. Which I don't know if we did that. Okay, so let's go try to find that. Northwest of the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, let's try that. The Aurora is there, so we'll go this way. Finding some Cyclops parts, that's good. I'll uh, keep doing this. That's pretty awesome. Uh, what else is around here? I did see a few other things. Uh, maybe this? A bridge fragment? Nice, nice. That's good, that's good. 67%. Uh, so that means we're pretty darn close to finding it, don't you think? Oh, propulsion? Nice, nice. Oh, I already had all that. That's good. So maybe it's not that one I'm missing then. What do we got here? Just some metal. Uh, here, let's use my... Uh... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nice. The Cyclops Bridge. Sweet. Okay, so all that was behind the Aurora on the ground here. See if I can find some other stuff. See what else is down here. A bunch of scrap metal. Really not interested in that. All kinds of stuff here. Hope I don't get eaten by the, the big uh, the big thing that's down here. Because there is something big here. He's floating around there. There he is. Hey. Ah. <laughs> so scary okay so I think I got all the bridge fragments so I don't think I need to do anything here I think I'm safe to get out of here let's go back <laughs> let's go back to my sea moth oh what's this take item oh I'm inventory full no way what's here oh, that's a health mac Okay, so there's all kinds of stuff here. That's crazy. All right, let's get back to my sea moth, because uh, I don't want to die. kind of messing that up. I'm kind of glad I got back in time. That was horrible. Well, that's it, everybody. We uh, pretty much well did everything we needed to do today. Uh, we got the upgrades for our Seamoth done. So we now all the way have up to our Mark III Seamoth um, upgrade. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't. I'm pretty sure I didn't capture that on cam and I forgot to, like, you know, uh, do that, but that's fine. Um, it's done. We have our survival knife. We got our upgraded tank. This one here, and we have our fins. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So, in the next episode, we're probably going to work on trying to get the... Uh, where is my thing my bobber here? Is it still afloat up here? Should be. Where is it? My Cyclops there thing going. Where is that back at my other base? I'm pretty sure I brought it over here. Like the, the whole... Uh, I didn't... Really? I'm pretty sure I did. Where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. See? 
I knew I brought it over here. Silly me. Alright, so let's climb up here and check out the Cyclops very quick. Uh, vehicles. Alright, so we can do the Cyclops and the prawn suit. Um, oh, no. I guess we're still missing ingredients for it. Oh, I guess we got the bridge. We're going to have to find there's... Oh, there's more parts to it. I see. So the prawn suit is a possibility. The aerogel, I'm not too sure about, but I'm pretty sure we can find that. So that wouldn't be so bad to try to get to next time. But that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.